It's time for Cooking with Coaches, sponsored by Wise Markets. When you shop at Wise, you now get rewards points for almost everything you buy. And all those points add up to big savings. Earning points every time you shop? That's Wise. Eat better, spend less. That's Wise. The fall college season's right around the corner, and that means it's grilling time. So welcome to Grilling with the Bison. Today we're going to do a little... Uh, a little uh, pork spare ribs on my big green egg with the help of our friends from Weiss Market. Hope you enjoy. So pork spare ribs, I'm here with my sous chef Ryan Davis. My nine-year-old daughter is going to help out a little bit today. And the first thing we've got to do is we've got to prepare the ribs with our spices. Um, thanks to Weiss Market, we used two tablespoons of paprika, a tablespoon of chili powder, a tablespoon of salt, one and a quarter tablespoon of the cayenne, three tablespoons of garlic powder, and three tablespoons of seasoned salt, and then one cup of the dark brown sugar. I'd like to take credit for it, but my wife, Mickey, actually put it together. She's not here, so a little extra credit for me and Ryan. And Ryan's gonna help me out. The first thing she's gonna do is she's gonna take the oil and sp spray some on the top. Actually, I'll help you do that. You can rub it in. You can use your hands to rub it in, all right? Now we've mixed in all those ingredients I talked about. All right, Ryan? And now Ryan is gonna rub this in. The last thing we'll do is we're gonna wrap it and let it sit, all right? And we'll leave them sitting for at least an hour. Sometimes, if I'm feeling really adventurous, we'll do it overnight, I'll let it sit for an hour. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator and we'll be back with you in about an hour to put them on the grill. All right, welcome back. It's been about an hour since we seasoned the ribs. It's time to get them on the grill, okay? The way it works is I've got it set for indirect cooking um, and we're gonna run the, the temperature at about 275, 300, okay? The way it's gonna work is so we're gonna put them here in the rack, put it on for an hour. Got some cherry smoke because I like the sweetness it gives. We're gonna put it on the rack for about an hour. I'll come out and turn it a quarter turn and let it go for another hour. All right, we've been on for two hours. Um, they are getting ready, you see. We're gonna take them off here and do a little finishing on them. We're gonna finish them with some butter and brown sugar. And we'll brown sugar this side to get the sweet flavor we're going to have added to it. All right. Now we will wrap them tightly so there's no air with double aluminum foil. Set them back on. We'll be back in 15. All right, it's been 15 minutes, so I'm gonna take them off now and unwrap them, right? Put them back on, put the juices that have built up back on to let them caramelize for 15 minutes, and then we'll be ready to eat. And then I'll, and I'll just close it up. We'll be back with you in 15 minutes. All right, it's time for the best part. They've had a chance to rest. We're gonna cut them up and uh, let, our, let Ryan do the taste test. All right, Ryan, here you go. Got a little smoke ring you can see. Pass it over here, Ryan. Give it a whirl. Tell us how it tastes. Yeah. There you go. Spare ribs on a big green egg. 
Thanks for coming. Hopefully it works well for you and go Bison.